Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. I am Tiffany and to pick up where we left off, talking about 4D and no, well, explaining what 4D is, right? And, and, and knowing whether or not you are operating in the fourth dimension. And so there be, there may be some, some identities that you identify with when you are operating in the fourth dimension to help to, for you to validate whether or not you are in the magical world saying to yourself, I am a magician. I am a druid. I am a witch, a sorcerer, an enchanter. Um, if you are psychic, if you are a healer, if you do um, regressionist work, whether it be um, past life regression or it could be a LBL or a life between lives regression. If you are, if you consider yourself a warrior of the light, if you are even a devil or a demon worshiper, if you consider yourself to be a religious person, the magical world compared to the material world, at least in my opinion, it's much more exciting because now you are, you're operating in this whole other realm. You are, you have all of these other experiences that people in 3D don't have or they maybe they have it and they dismiss it as well maybe I'm seeing things uh maybe I'm tired I just maybe need to take a nap they're just missing it so if they're dismissing it as far as I'm concerned they're not having the experience because for them it doesn't exist but you're having as a person operating in 4d you're having all of these unexplained experiences you're having all these paranormal experiences which especially if that's what you're looking for I mean and I think to some degree we're all looking for it you know especially if you're just on your path and you are knowingly actively going out for these experiences because it's these experiences that help us to uh, really get anchored in the spirit, in the spiritual world and really help to build, uh, and strengthen that relationship with source, with spirit, because now we're getting this proof, you know, we're getting this feedback that there are these other realms, even though we can't see it with our physical eyes, we can see it with our first eye. Cause you know, it's there because of your first eye. We may not necessarily see it with our physical eyes but it's just confirming for us those types of interactions just confirming for us what we already know to be true which is that this spiritual world this spiritual realm exists and so it's just a confirmation and so in operating in uh, this dimension, in the fourth dimension, there are loads of people that have these other abilities. They have abilities outside of the five senses. And like, and, you know, and it brings me to like a story that I, I have of my God sister, my God sister, who is my gosh, she is a, especially if she just let herself go, she's a gifted spiritualist. Fantastic. And I'm like, you have, and this was years ago I had this conversation with her. I'm like, you have all of these abilities that I didn't even know she had until like we really started to get close. And it's just wonderful. And she's like, it's like you have all of these abilities. Why aren't you just exploring them and just expanding upon them and just really embracing it and immersing yourself in it. I'm like, my God, your abilities are fantastic. And 
she had it in her head. I can't remember why, but she had it in her head that if she really explored her abilities, that she would die. And because of that belief, she really keeps her abilities at arm's length. Like she does not like in terms of my abilities, like I, I dive head first into it. I dive head first into it and I figure out the consequences later. I am that person because I just think that spirit is just the most wonderful, terrific thing ever. And she is at least what comes across to me. And I could be wrong here. She is a, she is scared of her abilities. Um, and again, I can't remember why that part of it. I just know that she's just, she doesn't really embrace her abilities, which is really insane to me because I'm just like, life could just be so much easier if you embraced your abilities because they would help you. Your, those abilities would help you navigate the physical realm. The spirit will help you navigate the physical. Um, and not to say that you won't have, you still won't have, you know, issues or problems that you have to deal with, but because you're working so closely with spirit, what you gain is a better understanding. And it's almost like you gain a roadmap. Like, yeah, this is the issue. But if you do this, this, skip this, go here, make it about, you know, about face, turn back, go here. Yeah, it may look like you're going backwards, but you're really not. You're just avoiding this potential pitfall. Turn that around, go here. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a, like spirit gives you, and granted, Spirit does not necessarily give you the entire map. Spirit gives you part of the map, which personally drives me a little nuts. Like, let me just see the whole thing, people. You know, you get you get a snippet, and it's and it and, and but then we go into it's building that trust with spirit, right? Spirit, it's forcing you to trust it. Like, let's see how much you believe us when we say. You need to make an about face. You need to turn around and go back in the direction you came. Not understanding that if you moved forward any further, you're going to fall right off that cliff. Spirit gives you a part of the map and doesn't necessarily give you the entire map. But it's part of spirit helping you to build that relationship and build that trust with it. So like when, so when she told me that it just, it just, it boggled my mind personally. I, and she still lives more in the physical than she, I would say she's in, no, she's in 4D. She's in 4D because she, she works with spirit and there are things that she does that she believes. And so she's in 4D. I wouldn't say that she's, she's in 3D, but I'm just like, you can just be so much more immersed in it. But people, people are where they are for whatever reason. Right. And when she's ready to be in that place, um, then she will be, but all that said, there are these people end up with these, I should say their abilities, you know, their superpower, <laughs> their abilities come online. You know, all of a sudden, you know, clairvoyance, you know, and you, you and, and there's a whole bunch of clairs. Um, and I'm actually going to look it up while I am speaking so I can name them. But there are... A whole bunch of clears that um, that can come online um, so that you can have these different abilities and I'm going to see if I can get them while I am speaking but like if you're clairvoyant that it's more of a clear vision you're able to see um, very clearly things that may happen or haven't happened 
um, yet. And of course I can't find them cause I'm speaking right now, but there's a whole bunch of them. There's, there's a, there's a handful of them that you can be, but they can come online. And so all of a sudden you have all these abilities that you didn't necessarily have in the beginning. Okay, here it is. Clairvoyant, clairaudience, clairsentient, claircognizance. And what it's doing, it is more working in the realm of your psychic abilities. It was more working in the spirit realm, um, I should say, so that you're better able to see things and know things and interact with spirit and interact with the physical world in a more productive, in a more successful manner. So all that to say, and even though we didn't finish really getting into the, into 4D, all that to say, if you notice that your abilities are coming online, don't be scared of them. Those are natural abilities that you're supposed to have that to some degree we are all supposed to have. It's just that you're in a space where it's coming online. So I would say embrace it, learn it, ask, ask spirit to help you with it. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.